Well, let's talk about list comprehensions and iterators. Here I have a list with three countries in it. America, Afghanistan, and Albania. They all start with the letter A. Now, what I'd like to do is take the first letter A, first letter of this, of this element, print this out on the screen, and write next to it, the the actual word America. So to say A within parentheses and then to the right of it America A and then Afghanistan A in parentheses of course and then Albania like that. To do that I'm going to create a comprehension. Now over here it says for every X in Y this will be the first X, the second X, and the third X. We'll iterate through this. This is what I'd like you to do. Return the following values to me. Well, to Z. Return A. Open parens. And then concatenate that with X's. This X's. In this case, first time it'll be America. This X is zero with character. That's the A there. So I'll get a parenthesis and an A. Concatenate that with a close parens. So it'll be parens, a, close parens, and a comma. Now, this is all within single quotes. Like so. So this is what we're going to get back. Concatenate that with a tab. Concatenate that with x. That'll be the whole word. And that's it. Do that for every X in this list. And there are three X's in this list. All right. And assign that to Z. Done. Let's print out Z. And it looks terrible. So, let's print it out. So it doesn't look terrible. For every X in Z, do the following. Print X. Whoa, that looks super duper nice. The next thing I want to do is I want to take Y. That's my list up here. The original list. And I would like to append Mexico to it. So I just did. And that's what it looks like right now. Next thing I'd like to do is run this comprehension again. This guy. So I go up here, click on that line, hit enter, and it repeats the line for me. And now I hit enter, and now I want to come back up here, save myself some typing, and get, get this loop to execute again. So I hit enter, and enter, and enter, and bam. Out it comes A America, A Afghanistan, A Albania, M Mexico. This worked like a charm. Now if I want to iterate it through this one at a time, well, what was in Y? There we go. Now what I want to do is I'll set up a loop. And uh, hmm, let me see. I won't set up a loop. I'll set up the following. Take a variable a. That's equal to. I want to do something to the y list. I want to iter through it. Take the iter function and run that on y and assign it to a. Okie dokie. That's fine. Next thing I want to do is key in next parens a. And dollars to donut, I get the word America. And I do. Wow. What if I key in next A again? Dollars to donuts, I get Afghanistan. And I do. Well, you gotta know who's next. Next A, Albania. And finally, last guy on the list, Mexico. And away it goes. This is George Bull. I hope this video was useful to you. Please rate and share it. I'd appreciate that. And good luck.